Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Clubhouse SMP server. I'm here in front of the wood shop at spawn and uh, nothing much has changed here. Yeah, let's go on inside real quick. As you can see, we're pretty well stocked up on logs here. Uh, we could probably do a little better, uh, but sales have been just a little bit low lately. We've got three stacks of cherry and three stacks of mangrove still. And I think that's the lowest supply we have. Oh no, we could use some more jungle. Yeah, only one stack of the jungle, but the jungle's not very popular anyway. Uh, so that's the wood shop. We've seen this many times before. In this episode, my plan was to fight the end dragon, but uh, we're not going to do that today. We're going to save that for another episode. So I thought instead, maybe we can just do a bit of a world tour. Uh, let's start here at spawn. So we've got our wood shop over there, which is at the north end of town. Uh, we are we made this a few episodes back. This shop was already here at the time when we made our shop. And this shop sells lots of different kinds of blocks, which you can kind of tell from the design. You know, they mixed in so many different block variants here. And that's a good indicator of what's available inside. Here, yeah, let's take a look. Let's have a look-see. Uh, we've got, oh, they've got quite a bit of out of stock. I was surprised to see that. Oh, and some of them, some of the chests just aren't even configured. But we've got your basic uh, uh, stone variants here. Granite, diorite, we've got basalt, and uh, what about uh, deep slate right there? Some cobblestone. Actually, how much cobblestone is in stock? I know that's, <laughs> sorry, that's locked. Uh, uh, so I can't see the inventory. Um, but they are selling cobblestone here, and what else? Mossy cobblestone, I see that one as well. What other blocks are here? Uh, calcite, that's good. Amethyst, uh, tough, and blackstone. That's cool. I I don't know, I just go mining usually for my own blocks, but uh, it's nice to know if I need extra, they're available at this shop. I don't want to spend too much time here. Let's go ahead and see some of the other shops that spawn. Let's see, this is the main area with the portals to the mining worlds. We've got regular mining world. I think that might be disabled currently. We've got the end, uh, which we saw in the last episode, and this is for the nether. So three mining worlds. Uh, this is our main spawn area uh, bulletin board right here. you got some note blocks. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Some note blocks here. What's this one? Yeah, cat. Got a cat. And uh, what else? What's on the bulletin board besides a villager head? Villager zombie head, I guess. Uh, not too much new to read here. It looks like they are doing... Let's see, who is this over here? There's a, an egg in this plot of land over here, and I think that's for the Easter egg hunt. I can't remember who is sponsoring this event, but it looks like... Yeah, there's a, an egg here <laughs> to indicate that there's some kind of Easter egg event. Uh, but I'm not currently participating in that. And then we saw these shops over here. These are quite nice. This is a redesign. It used to be one vehicle that was over here in this plot. And then now it's two over here. Uh, these actually look pretty good. I like those. Uh, let's see. Over here across the bridge we have... What else? We saw this shop a while back. This is one of my favorites at spawn. I already forgot what they sell here. I know we bought something though. At this shop here. Yeah, this is a nice one. Let's go inside again. I want to I want to remember what they sell here. Let's see. Okay, looks like there's a way up on both sides. Oh, it's the frog lights, of course. I actually been thinking about maybe, <laughs> dang it, why do I keep doing that? Don't click on the chest. I want to buy some more frog lights. Maybe not today. We'll do that another time. Uh, cool, coolest frog light shop in town. 10 out of 10 for sure. All right, how do we get out of here? What else do we have to look at? So let's go over here and look at uh, cat and dogs. They have some kind of food shop over here. I think that I think they advertise it as being vegan. So it's probably just vegetables. Let's see, how do I get over there? Use the bridge. Use your brain. 
All right. So this looks like the main way in here. What is this? Emeralds for diamonds? Oh, it's currency exchange. Is that because... Is that because you have to spend emeralds at the shop? I don't know, but we've got melons, we've got beetroot, golden carrots, regular carrots and potatoes. Very vegan, <laughs> I suppose. Or at the very least, vegetarian, right? And upstairs we have kind of a seating area. What's this? There's a chair that you can sit on here and look out over the spawn area. Very nice. And it doesn't look like any of the, yeah, n none of the shops are configured up here. Can I get in this chair? You can. I can get in the chair. <laughs> uh, so this is still being worked on up here. But yeah, this is a nice looking shop. I, I dig this. Pretty cool. And let's see, we came in this way. Uh, I really like the potion shop. Where is the potion shop? Let's take a look at that one real quick. Some of these shops we've seen, so uh, we may skip a few of them. Let's see. This turtle over here has uh, shulker boxes for sale right here. Uh, looks like there's four purple ones left for eight diamonds each. It's not a bad deal if you don't want to go get your own shulker boxes. Uh, let's see. Over here is the potion shop, I believe. Yeah, very nice looking build, the potion shop. I like this a lot. Let's go in this door here. It's cozy inside. I'll put it that way. Especially with all the signs advertising the different potions. But you've got healing. What is this? Swiftness. Night vision. I don't know what this one is. Strength. Looks like strength. We've got uh, fire resistance over here. That's got to be a best sell bestseller, right? That's the one that I would buy the most is the uh, fire resistance. This one might be sold out. Upstairs, I think, is a few more potions. What do we got? A uh, water breathing and that's it. Yeah, water breathing. All right. And some spots maybe for some more potions in the future. I'm surprised there's no splash potion of weakness. That seems like it would be popular too. I don't see one of those here. Uh, anyways, that's enough of the potion shop. Really nice looking build though. And this build over here has an eclectic block palette. Look at all those different blocks they mixed in. What does this say? Uh, okay, I don't really know what that means, but uh, what, do, what, what are we selling here? We've got uh, the netherite upgrade smithing templates and netherite ingots. That makes sense. I wonder, is that a good deal? 10 diamonds for a netherite ingot. I mean, let's see. How long does it take me to make one ingot? That's like an hour of mining in the nether for 10 diamonds. But I can get 10 diamonds in less than an hour. So I guess that is a pretty good deal. Glow ink sacks over here. Uh, how much for those? One diamond for half a stack. That's a pretty good deal as well. I wonder how they're farming those. What do we have back here? We've got... Tridents and sniffer eggs. There's the um, the different uh, sniffer flowers there. Oh, and the seeds as well. Okay, torch flower seeds and pitcher pods. Very nice. And what else? Some kind of fancy shield and a crossbow. Um, all right. What about this shop here? I think I looked in here early, early in the season. This is Brodator's shop, and I think it was iron at first. Yeah, it's still just iron. Kind of uh, one of the first shops that went up here at spawn, I believe. I think this was already here before I even came on the server. All right, so that's enough of the spawn area. I think we've seen everything. This is new over here, though. Uh, Dutch is selling records. Looks like all the common records. Yeah, that's mostly all the common records here. I don't see any of the, like, there's no pig step or other side or anything. I wonder if he, I wonder if he's going to sell the custom ones in the future. I'd like to get my hands on a couple of those. But we might just try to get those by ourselves. All right, let's go through the portal. I think that'll be the fastest way to get to some of the other bases. And I don't want this episode to go super long. So let's try to take a shortcut. I can't remember. Is it this way? There was a base I wanted to look at. Yeah, this one here, this portal. I think this goes to, is it Quill? 
Is this Quill's portal? Yeah, Quill. <laughs> All right, I wanted to take a look in here real quick. He had a really nice uh, layout, a really nice build over at, at Quill's place. Let's see, yeah, yeah, this is Quill's portal. That's really nice. I like how the portal is bigger than it needs to be and it has this structure around it. I'd kind of like to do something like that on um, the portal at my base. What is this house here? I don't know. Is this like a starter house? It looks like somebody's living here. Nice paintings. Uh, bookshelves. Yeah, this must be like a starter house, I think. Balcony out here. Very nice indeed. Here, let's, uh, let's close these back up. I don't want to leave any open doors. Everything just the way I found it. Uh, can I actually... This, this was open, but I'll close that one too. Uh, so maybe this is the main house now that the... Yeah, it's probably like a starter house and then a main house. This is quite impressive. I like the scale. It's good size and <laughs> interesting looking entrance. All right. Excellent use of the signs on everything. And if we go upstairs... What do we got here? Hello. Hey, there's Quill. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Just touring your base. Good to see you. Here, do I have a gift for you? Here, have an emerald. <laughs> there you go. Shoot. All right, let's exit. Uh, Quill was kind enough to let us look around, but I don't want to intrude on his personal spaces. What have we got here? It looks like we've got some farms out back. Uh, this one is some kind of TNT wood farm, I think. Maybe mushrooms, too. Uh, that's actually a really good idea. That's got to be a good way to get the nether woods as well. The stems, crimson stem, warp stem. Uh, we've got some kind of melon or pumpkin farm over here. Nice. And this looks like some kind of bee farm. Yeah, yeah I hear the bees inside. Definitely got a bee farm there. Uh, and I think spawn is not too far that way, but let's go back through his nether portal and see if we can find another base to look at. Oh, I didn't even see this over here. Is this Quills as well? He's got some kind of uh, villager trading set up across the water here. Ah, look at that. That does look really cool. Is that some kind of farm? Let me get a closer look at this one. Oh, I bet this is, yeah, bamboo and sugarcane. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like, too. <laughs> Surprised me there. All right, let's go across. Ooh, nice bridge. Yeah, spruce with the barrels. Some kind of future build mapped out there, and then we've got, like, a villager trading hall over here. Yeah, with different villager stalls. I like the open concept here. Nice and exposed. I guess, I guess there's probably no, no problem with uh, zombies, right? Attacking these villagers. Are they safe from zombies here? Mm, they must be. All right, let's use the portal and head back. It looks like maybe this used to be a proper village here that he built on. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. He is definitely well established at this base. Uh, let's hop through the portal here, and we'll check out another base. Uh, let's see. I want to go south, I think. So let's try this green, the green door, and see what... Well, there's a lot of portals down this way. And... Uh, villager in a boat. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I think actually a lot of people on the server do live kind of to the south. Let's see, we have a lot of portals to choose from, and it just occurred to me that we might not get to them all. I do believe this is Flues Maker's portal. Let's take a look inside. He is not online at the moment, but we're going to poke around his place and see what he's got going on here. Uh, is it nighttime though? I don't want to be at his base at night just in case I spawn in some mobs. Yeah, it looks like the sun is going down. I'm going to go sleep real quick and then we'll come back and visit these two lovely characters right here. <laughs> what are these? Goblins? That's very cool. All right, I'll be back when it's uh, daytime. So 
here we are at Flusmaker's base. Wow, these are impressive little statue guys. And he's just come online at the moment as well. I'm not sure if he's at the base or not. Yeah, those are cool though. I really like these statue guys. <laughs> That's very creative, I must say. And then the house, look at this. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there we go. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. You spied me. I did. <laughs> Blue Mac exists. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you left in time, but you did not. This is a lovely chateau. <laughs> well, it's a it's a modest one. Uh, mm -hmm. Problems with the basement. Ah, uh, flooded. Because I don't know. Because I I wanted. You know, windows of a basement because mouse houses, ah. modern ones do. But now I'm stuck with. I have to come up with some kind of wall. I don't want a full blue wall. So anyway, now now I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Not a full blue wall. Mm, you should. Yeah, you need to transition to another block, maybe a stone. Yeah. Well, I tried this one. And yes. It doesn't, to, it doesn't seem to. Cobbled deep slate. Do it for me. Well, mm. I mean, I, I, I was just tried deep slate for the color, uh, and then it could be other types of deep slate, but it doesn't. That doesn't do it for me. Uh -huh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> anyway. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think you might want to press V. A V. And yes, V, and then settings. Yes. And uh, make sure noise suppression is enabled. Oh, good. Pro tip. Oh, yes. Now now you sound a lot better, actually. Oh, thank you. Because we could hear, I, I don't know, it like, could be the computer fan or, uh, you know, the heater vent or... Oh, uh... uh, yes. <laughs> there's, there's... There's, no, there's background noise that could leak in. Uh, okay, I guess there's lag. Impossible. Uh. On this server? <laughs> At the price we paid... There better not be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flues, I'm off. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the tour. <laughs> I, I still have to do like a lot of terraforming. I just decided I was gonna do. I'm gonna redo the whole front here and make that into a, a better garden. Uh, this is the front. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, the the point builds in the back. Ah, uh, I see. Because it's a, it's like a it's a it's a darker hole you go into. So yes. <laughs> like I, you can't have that in the front. Come on. Hmm. It's only logical. All right. So uh, I'll do a little bit of terraforming. Very nice. <laughs> Enjoy your travels. Ah uh, yes. See you later. <laughs> later. So that was. Flues Maker's Base. I'll mute myself. Ooh, that's scary. There's like water right down there. All right. Uh, so, what are we going to look at next? Who's this? Who is Flues' neighbor? Let's take a look at the sign here. Okay, Moon and Dutch. That could be interesting. Uh, let's see. Keithron. Ah, uh, there's so many choices. You know what? I'm probably not going to... Here, let's just do Dutch. Uh, I think he might be on the server. Yes, he is. Moon is not. But we can take a look at this real quick. I don't want to intrude on him, but uh, Dutch is online. Oh. A level 30 enchanting area. Wow, that's that's quite nice. <laughs> Wow, look at all the details. There's a little wonderland here. There's so much to look at. Little little carrot and potato farm. Yeah, there's a lot here to unpack. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to visit Dutch and Moon's base another time. Oh, is somebody here? I thought I just saw... Oh, uh, no, it's a horse, horse and chicken. <laughs> 
I didn't see anybody. What is this? Visitor visitor lodge. Hey, I'm a visitor. Can I can I lodge here? <laughs> this is cool. I like this base. Wow, so many details. And what is this? There's like a, some kind of... Oh, it's a villager trading hall. Can I go in? I'm going to go in. Farmers. Uh, blacksmith. Uh, librarians. Yeah, lots of farmers. Good way to get emeralds. And a few select books. What have we got here? Mending, of course, for 16. I think we have it for 10. Not to brag or anything. Looting, silk touch. Wow, that's a good villager. What have we got over here? Silk touch and feather falling four. Yeah, all the basics. All the all the the must have books. Uh, all right, we're gonna come back and visit this another time. I know that Fluesmaker said he was only gonna be on for a short time, but he said he wanted some beehives. And I just so happened to have a bee farm. We could deliver some beehives to him. Uh, let's head back to our base. I thought that I would have more time to tour the bases on the server, but I think that's all we're going to have time for in this episode. We only got to see just a, a few bases. Uh, what do we see? Like three there. Um, plus we got to speak with Flues Maker, so that was pleasant. And I think the base that we're going to end with in this episode is our own. Uh, so here we go. This is our portal. Much improvement needed, I think, compared to some of the other more established bases. We've got a lot of decorating to do. I'm going to have to be cognitive here, though. I'm going to have to be smart and prevent spawns. If we build, if we improve on this portal design here, we can't have iron golems spawning on it because we've got an iron farm uh, just above it there. And so maybe we'll move the portal or do a redesign on it. But we also have this map here now. Uh, which is quite nice. What is this? Oh, that's for the lightning rod. Uh, this is the villager trading hall right here, the big gray area with the brown squares. I don't know what this red roof structure is, but I think it's a horse stables. And then let's see that green dot up there. That's us. So that's the iron farm. Uh, there's a bunch of farms in this area here. They're mostly like, uh, what do you call like like the nether woods and mushrooms and moss uh, and there's a new addition to this area which we'll see in just a moment it looks like actually this right here is the crimson and warp stem you can see the red and blue squares there uh, what have we got this is the cactus farm over here and this is our pink house right here uh, all those little pink trees right there are the cherry cherry trees we planted uh, right here this was our original wheat field and behind it the original sugar cane uh those colors right there that's the sheep farm let's just do, let's just go take a look at them oh there you go <laughs> if i just turn around you can see them so much better we don't need to look at them on the map we, we can just go up close and personal here's sakana's fishing hut we've seen this before there's a villager inside i can hear him in there uh that's a uh fisher villager we've got some beacons here now uh, one here and one down here in the middle of the villager trading area. So here's a bunch of the farms I was talking about. There's cocoa beans. Some of these got moved. They used to be up there on the hill. Uh, let's see, we've got mushrooms here. What is this one? Hanging hanging vines or something like that? Uh, roots. Hanging roots, maybe. And then we've got the glowberries here. That's very nice. Oh, here we go. This is the new addition I was talking about. Right inside here, we've got two sniffers. So these sniffers are, are going to dig up some seeds every once in a while. The pitcher pods and the... Uh, oh, they're right there. There's a pitcher pod. And uh, what's the other one called? I can never remember the name of it. Do you guys uh, dig up anything else here? Pitcher pods and... Uh, let's see. The other one is called torch flower. Torch flower seeds. I've been putting the extra seeds and pods in this moss chest because there was not a chest over here by the sniffers uh, but i do occasionally as i walk by see that there's some seeds in there uh, over here are the flowers this is the pitcher pod flower right here the big blue on the tall one with the little root underneath that looks like a daikon daikon radish and then we've got the uh 
Uh, yeah, torch flowers, which do kind of look like a torch, right? In the middle. Mm. Uh, so those are torch flowers. Up here, these are kind of new. This is the warped and over here, the crimson stems. From the end dimension, we've got the, uh, what do you call this? Chorus, chorus flower on top, chorus fruit. That's what you get from these. And then if you uh, pop them in a furnace, you can use them to craft the purple blocks. And the rest of the base, I believe you've seen. I don't think there's anything new here. Here's our pink house over here. But after seeing some of the other bases on the server, I'm thinking it's time for an upgrade. Uh, maybe we should even design an even bigger, more impressive house. Of course, I'm going to need to gather some resources first, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get that together. Uh, but uh, I think I can come up with a design better than the pink house. We'll call that our starter house. <laughs> How about that? And then over here at the villager trading hall, it's, things are coming along rather nicely. Uh, down below, we actually have a storage area that we built. We can take a look at that real quick. Uh, there's a lot of villagers here to trade with, including, uh, well, pretty much all of them, actually. I'm not even going to list them all. There's too many. Uh, some, some of the farms got moved back here. I think we saw these already. These are sugarcane. Uh, we've got lava, stone, and bamboo down here at the end. Also, it looks like we've got uh, Scoot coming in from the turtle farm. They like that ledge back there. <laughs> and then this is new. What's back here? It looks like we've got a clay farm. Oh, so you put mud on here? Is that what you do? Or do you put clay on here? What is this block? This is clay, right? And then the dripstone dries it out, right? Is this, this is so that you can make the packed mud, I think. Uh, no, wait, don't you need wheat for that? Uh, I'm not sure how this is supposed to work, but this is a new addition down here. Clay farm, it says. And let's go back to the storage room area. We built this a few episodes back. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we lit it up. Outnumber 3D! Outnumber 3D! Yes. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Number three. <laughs> Where? I, I am oh. a wandering doorbell salesman. Uh, what is? As, as you can see, I need to shout <laughs> so you know that I'm here. If you had a doorbell, you would have had an early warning. Oh, like, hey, there's a visitor. And, and yeah, I it's, do custom it, sounds for only ten diamonds. A custom doorbell. Custom sounds uh, for a doorbell. I have been thinking about putting in a door. <laughs> so skill and rouge are the first ones to. To have a doorbell installed so you could go to their base and hear what kind of annoying thing they chose <laughs> they basically chose like a triple like a... ship horn like a whoop, whoop, oh. whoop. but you can have a ding dong if you want ah uh, i think i can come up with something a little better than ding dong yeah we cannot do a gunter with ooh you touch my tra -la -la. <laughs> mm, yeah, ding dong I would like to do that, but we cannot do that due to copyright issues. Oh, that's a pity. Mm. I'll have to think about it. I know yeah, I can come up know, with some. You have the shop, no uh, shop is coming to spawn soon, right? Uh, well, I have, I have my discs set up, my regular discs. Yeah, I was I vibing. I to build a building and, and like give like directions also for custom music and that kind of stuff. Right? I, was, but, I was vibing at your spawn shop earlier. <laughs> Isn't it amazing to have like like always music there? <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think, I think that that was a good idea of me. Uh, I don't have anything to give you. Uh, no, no, no problem at, a, at the moment. Like we'll discuss price when we come to that. Okay, I'll give you I'll give you a deposit. To give me a deposit, yeah. <laughs> down, down. Pay after I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll put my money away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. So one, once you have an idea of a sound, just message me on Discord. Okay. And uh, I will verify the sound with you that that it's actually the sound that you had in mind. Um, well, and then, yeah. Looking forward to it. <laughs> and then I will install it. Installation takes roughly 15 minutes, depending on the location. Oh, that's and space that's. And everything. That's fast. Yes. Yes. I work fast. 
<laughs> That's what she said. Um... <laughs> yeah, let me let me show you the uh, the exit here. <laughs> there. Oh, it's nighttime. There we go. Why, why, why is? I came down a regular hole with with letters and everything. Oh, there was letters. Oh, you came down over here. The amethyst yes. entrance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that worked very well. Yes, that's temporary. It's gonna be over uh, here. Ah. Uh, so yeah, what Skill and Rouge have, for instance, they have a three white pressure plate thing, so you cannot miss it. Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm gonna put stairs here, and then um, like a three by three redstone door. Ooh, phantoms. Ow. Yes, I've not slept in a while. Let me take that. Use your bed. Oh, there's beds everywhere. Sakana has the base covered in them. <laughs> Got him. It's also daytime now, so they would have burned. <laughs> have you been uh, to the end yet? I went to the end. I missed the dragon fight. I'm planning to respawn the dragon soon. Uh, I did look around the end, but I didn't go far enough to find a city. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what do you think about the custom train that we've got going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's great. I was surprised to see uh, phantoms and poison spiders and other hostile yeah. mobs in the end dimension. Scary. Yeah, indeed, there. It, it, there's a lot of good, lot of stuff going on. <laughs> it was scary. It's a lot better than the vanilla land. It's nice for resource gathering. You can get some blocks that are a little bit harder to get just from the modded terrain. Yeah, but also like just just to be there. It's less empty. It's nicer. Yes. Yeah. Less bridging. No. No large voids. Yes. That's Great. nice. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to go to my next target, I think. <laughs> uh, last target in the overworld. And that's Miss Enfang. Um, uh -huh. Thank you for your potential business. You know where to find yeah. me. <laughs> Thanks for stopping uh, by, Dutch. <laughs> no problem. Up, up, and away. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, and away. <laughs> I'll just edit that out. All right. Uh, I don't know if I'm muted or not because I can't see the icon, but uh, that was nice of Dutch to stop by and sell us a doorbell. Uh, I'm out of time for recording this episode, so I'm going to just end it here. Uh, thanks for watching, and from the Clubhouse SMP server, I'm outnumbered, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>